Intelligence officials have testified to Congress that Russian hackers allegedly interfered in the country's 2016 presidential election. We plan to brief the Congress and release an unclassified version of this report to the public early next week. But until then, we're really not prepared to discuss this beyond standing by our earlier statements. <laughs> Now, testimony didn't shy away from beating the old dead horse about propaganda. The name of this network, RT, was even dropped as a main source of alleged disinformation. The Russian government also created and spread fake news and conspiracies across the vast social media landscape. And, of course, RT, which is uh, heavily supported by, uh, funded by uh, the, Russian, uh, the Russian government, whatever crack they could the fissure they could find in our uh, um, in our tapestry if you will they would exploit it because the folks at rt's web team tweet a little bit faster than wikileaks this proves that russia are the sinister puppeteers behind julian assange and that they are responsible for donald trump's victory and trip to the white house now we decided to take to the streets of washington dc and ask americans if they felt like their minds were being manipulated as part of a sinister russian plot to control american politics did vladimir putin influence your decision on who to vote for not at all not at all no it impacted my vote except for me uh no i was pretty solid on my decision pre all the vladimir putin drama he called me directly Putin did and told me how I should vote. No, I think that's the biggest farce. It sounds like the information reported through WikiLeaks is truthful, so that's another opinion I have, that I believe that more than I believe uh, uh, Russia had anything to do with it. I haven't seen evidence to that. Could the Russians have maybe controlled your mind without you knowing about it? I don't believe so. <laughs> I'm sure that, like, there can be, they've influenced the election in, in certain ways but not mind control oh my god no <laughs> if that hack hadn't taken place that wouldn't have affected your vote at all would not have affected my vote at all i don't know that what happened to the dnc qualifies as a hack i mean it's more of just a a random phishing scam that most of us see every day the american intelligence services say that the american public's minds were manipulated by russia and that's why people voted for trump do you buy it not at all i just think that they might have had their hand in it i don't think they influenced the election that much they might have had their hand in it and they tilted it another way but there was a little bit of just innuendo i guess i think that there are a lot of other things that were us work it well you know you have a weak candidate um things things along those lines so uh, i think that there are many other factors that played a larger role americans really don't feel like russia is controlling their minds but their elected officials seem to disagree so perhaps the intense scheme of Russian thought manipulation is so deeply entrenched in the American psyche that average people don't realize how brainwashed they actually are. Or perhaps this constant harping that Russia is somehow responsible for the presidential election results is a great example of disinformation. Caleb Moppin, RT, Washington, D.C. As we just heard, some Americans are not entirely convinced that Russia directly influenced the results of the presidential elections. That's while the U.S. National Intelligence Chief himself confesses even he doesn't know whether Moscow changed the outcome. This when quizzed by Senator John McCain. If they 